what happened, Joanna? And you just get a sense the governments are now saying, yes, it needs to be regulated. Exactly, Haslinda. So it, basically, this money has been stolen, but um, Binance is looking into the issue. The bridge has been suspended. They've frozen about seven million of that hundred to one hundred ten million. So they are working to recover some of it, and then we'll see what they say in terms of what the root cause was. But CZ, the CEO of Binance, has said, "Let's let's get everything together and figure out what happened before we try to restart, and you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves." Uh, what are the wider implications, you know, because we've talked about such incidents before, hackers uh, doing things over and over again, and we've had a company called Chinalysis, for instance, have, you know, helping governments to track uh, all these culprits and hence a question of whether it is anonymous or not. I mean, there's so many issues when it comes to hacking. Right, and about two billion dollars have been stolen so far this year, and bridges are seeming to be pretty vulnerable. That's one of the big areas for hacks. So people will need to be looking at this stuff. You know, it's affiliated with Binance, so it shows that even the biggest firms, the biggest establishments in crypto, are can still be vulnerable. And as you say, regulators are likely to be looking at this as an area of concern as well. Well, Joanna, you know, this brings up the uh, all these concerns that people have about uh, crypto being secure. And, and, you know, this, uh, of course, is uh, the significance of this, I suppose. But what are companies and exchanges at the moment doing to protect their consumers, their customers? Yeah, well, Rich, I, I should say that Binance has said that customer funds are going to be safe. And you sometimes have entities that will backstop a hack, for instance, and they do try to do audits of their code, try to make things secure. But we have seen a lot of these things where hackers are getting really smart and they're just figuring out how to exploit weaknesses.